why are science fiction and fantasy almost always categorised together? Has there ever been a bar room in a science fiction or fantasy convention where some variant of this question hasn't been discussed, argued over? What is science fiction? What is fantasy? Where does the boundary between them lie? Are they in fact the same thing? And if not, well, why are they always being lumped together? Is there really a difference between unobtainium and mithril, melange and metachlorians? Underlying many of these arguments is the assumption that genres can be defined, that they have meaningful boundary conditions, that a devotee of one genre will be able to say which manifestations of culture are safely within the fold and which lie beyond the pale. From a distance that does seem to be true, but the closer we examine the genres, the more their boundaries are revealed to be indistinct, like galaxies. They are better defined by their centres of gravity than by their edges. The further we travel from that centre, the less the gravitational influence. But at no point does it disappear entirely. Like galaxies, the genres are dynamic, evolving and changing as they accrete new matter, cultural artefacts rather than stars. The problem is that such a nuanced approach to understanding and categorising has not, in the past, sat well with the commercial industries that have grown up around the delivery of culture. As literary agent Piers Blofeld said in one of his excellent YouTube videos, genre is one thing and one thing only. It is a sales channel. In other words, it is a means of connecting a book to a reader. Viewed in this way, genres are merely names written above the shelves of bookshops, crime, romance, and, yes, science fiction and fantasy. The only thing that matters to the shop is how effectively the readers, by which I mean buyers, can be herded towards the experience most likely to have them part with their hard-earned cash. But have the booksellers really done their research, or are they lazily leaning on received categorizations? Are the readers of science fiction and the readers of fantasy the same to such a degree that SFF can be a meaningful category? Perhaps in the past we could argue over such questions, but in the era of big data we can be certain that research is going on. Companies like Amazon make their money based on their ability to individually target potential buyers with products they are more likely to click on, add to basket. Every search, every click, every look inside, the duration of our browsing of each page, all is being consumed. Machine learning and n-dimensional cluster analysis is grinding through terabytes of data mapping our preferences. This isn't the same as our barroom discussions. It's not even the same as the decisions of editors and agents as they try to find the best categorization with which to sell a book. It is the evolution of a precise mathematical definition of the reality of the genres. The extent to which they overlap, the extent to which some may be mutually exclusive to our tastes. There is no sentiment here. It is merely mathematics and money, lots and lots of money. Why then are science fiction and fantasy so often categorised together? Because historically, as a delivery mechanism for a profit-driven industry, it has worked. This description may seem harsh. It doesn't reflect the grassroots of science fiction and fantasy communities, the conventions organised by dedicated volunteers, the countless podcasts, fan fiction sites, unpaid reviewers. It doesn't reflect the sense that we are a community. All of that is real. All of that is intensely precious. But the commercial industries that provide us with some of the things we love, they are constantly assaying our tastes and modifying those sales channels, which are the genres. And if they believe that there is a significant overlap between the readership of what we call science fiction and the readership of what we call fantasy, they will continue to categorise them together. It remains to be seen what the people who really know will do with their knowledge, those sifters of big data. Will they continue to lump science fiction and fantasy together? 
they will if it pays.